Bonjour mes amis, je m'appelle Jasmine and welcome back or welcome to my channel Stay Classy by Jazzy. Today I'm excited to welcome you guys to the very first episode of a new series I'm starting here on my channel called College Boot Camp. I'm doing this for the month of July and it's a series that I created specifically for those who are going to college in the fall. I just finished my freshman year this spring and I have all this knowledge and tips and tricks that I just want to pull out of my head and share with you guys because I know I want to help ease and transition from high school to college and make it a lot easier for you guys. So for the month of July, every single Sunday, I'll be be uploading a college related video so for example today I'm doing a college q and I'll be answering some questions that you guys asked me on Instagram and snapchat but for other videos I'll be doing things like dorm room essentials which are going out next week um, how to live with a roommate for the first time school supplies that you actually need and a lot more so I'm excited for this series and I hope you guys are too I'm really happy and excited to help you guys out and see how you guys like this series make sure to share with anybody you know who are about to go to college or your friends who are about to go to college with you so you be nice and prepared now before I get into the q and I have some also really exciting to say I am also collabing with a company called KSAP for this video and I'm doing a giveaway over on my Instagram at stay classy by Jazzy where one of you guys will get a chance to win a free phone case or laptop case so the case that I got from KSAP this is the one I got it's called sweet lemon and I think it's a really cute design because a well if you're a Beyonce fan this is a perfect phone because if you like her lemonade album or it's summer right now so if you want a phone case that matches the weather outside this is perfect now KSAP is a website online that I'll put a screenshot right here you can basically do two things you can browse through a bunch of pre-made designs made by other artists and you can see which case you would like from there or if you're like mm, I want to do a customizable case you can do that you can just take a picture from your phone or you can upload a picture from your laptop that you like and make that your background on your phone case which is really cool I think it's a really great idea so if something that you guys are interested in in order to enter the giveaway there's two things you need to do one make sure you follow me on Instagram at stay classy by Jazzy it's the same as my um, YouTube name and I have it linked down below in my description box the reason I say that because I'm hosting the giveaway on my Instagram not on YouTube but I wanted to share this with you guys my YouTube family so you guys can get the benefit that my Instagram family has and the last thing you need to do is tag a friend that you think will be interested in entering the giveaway because sharing is caring and I want everyone who's interested to get a chance to enter the giveaway one last thing that I'll say before we get into the video is that it's only one person per entry which means you can only tag one person and that is it because um, I want to make sure that everyone has an equal chance of you know getting a chance to win the free phone or laptop case that is all I have to say let's get into the video Okay, so the first question is from Avery Arden. That's her Instagram name. Hey girl, how you doing? She asks, you were precious. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Here's a question. What's the best way to make sure you exercise and eat right in a new environment, aka college, as you're handling assignments and studying? Come, come closer, come closer. Let me tell you something. When I first think of exercise, I think of a gym. And when I think of a gym, I think of like, it's not the place for me. I don't know, I haven't found a gym that I really like. Even the gym at my school, it's kind of small. I'm just still really into here working out at the gym. So personally, a lot of people go to the gym. I know that at college and I highly recommend it. And that's something that you want to do. Um, you can work out with friends. I think that's a great way to like to keep consistent exercising is just having your friends push you and constantly motivate you. And you can motivate them to like work harder than the last time you worked out together. But for me personally, uh, things that I did just to keep fit and healthy was one, I would like, you know, frequently or occasionally, I guess more so, uh, work out in the dorm room. I did the blog of Lottie's like apartment friendly um, workouts in third grade because you don't have to worry about disturbing your neighbors. Um, another thing I recommend is actually taking the stairs. I know like you, you probably like the stairs. No, but seriously, I rarely took the elevator at school. It's a lot quicker and plus you're working out your leg muscles are really nice. Even when I had laundry I would still take the five flights of stairs down to the laundry room and then also walking again. In college you walk a lot. You walk to all your classes so it's kind of nice unless you like ride a bus or like a bike to get to your class. The last two things that I also recommend for exercising in college is make sure to carry a water bottle with you. That's a really big tip because it's really easy to get dehydrated again with all the walking that you're doing and it's just really important to hydrate anyways either it's hot or cold 
Um, so make sure you stay hydrated, okay? You can't be thirsty out here, okay? And then the last thing is actually to have healthy snacks available in your dorm room. It helps a lot because if you have only potato chips and chocolate available in your room and you get hungry, guess what? You're going to eat those chocolate and potato chips, okay? But if you have some fruit available, like fruit from the cafeteria or the calf, as we call it at my school, that you can just grab real quick on the way out. Bananas for breakfast. I ate bananas for breakfast a lot. I ate um, apples a lot, sometimes oranges. Just something where it, you're kind of not always eating junk food in your dorm room and just make sure to kind of balance your meals because if you're exercising but you're eating like you know crappy then it's not it's, it's not it's not going to work together okay so Catherine amber aka Catherine, aka the book line that's on instagram and her blog she asked me must have dorm school items now i'm not going to go into too much detail for this because i am making a video about this specifically it should be coming out the week after this things that are coming to my mind mini fridge okay and microwave those are two biggest things honestly because you're living if you're living on campus your dorm is going to become your new home away home from home so you're going to get hungry you're going to get thirsty you need a mini fridge to keep everything like all your water bowls and fruits and yogurts and stuff nice and cold and a microwave because you know a lot of college students live off of ramen noodles and sometimes you might have leftovers from somewhere and you're going to want to heat it up or make hot chocolate when it's cold. I made a lot of hot chocolate during the winter in my microwave. Another essential was command hooks. Command hooks are very, 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 very highly recommended um, because you can't hang anything else on the wall like pictures, picture frames, or um, posters and stuff without command hooks because you need command hooks to actually attach those kind of things because they're really the only safe thing to put on the wall and it's, it makes it easier if we put it on the wall and take it down at the end of the year without damaging because you don't want to damage your wall because at the end of the year your RA is going to check your room and if you have any damages that were there weren't there when you first moved in they're going to charge your account for that and ain't nobody got time for that. Hey Matt Dower aka Madison Hey Girl so she said, she gave me like a bunch of different question ideas. Most challenging aspect of freshman year for you, how to eat healthy in college, manage schoolwork, studies, and YouTube channel. Um, ooh, some good questions. Let's say schoolwork and YouTube. How I manage that doing school and YouTube is just really goes down to time and time management, which I suck at. I'm so bad at time management, but I'm trying to get better. Just kind of chunking your time as my biggest tip. For me personally, I made sacrifices and chunk my time where I would focus on my schoolwork during out the week. And then when the little pockets of free time that I had, I would film after I finished my work or before I did my work because school comes first. On Fridays and Saturdays and sometimes Sunday Sunday mornings and Sunday afternoons, I would use that time to edit. So that's how I kind of balance schoolwork and um, YouTube. Now, I will say it was a little hard because sometimes I was like, you know what, I, I want to hang out with my friends and so I have to make a sacrifice. Like, okay, this Friday I'll hang out with my friends, next Friday I'm just going to dedicate it to my YouTube channel. So that's kind of like my biggest tip is just to kind of figure out where everything places in the day. Next question. It's from Hannah, but her Instagram handle is like Hannah whatever I think. It's supposed to be like Hannah whatever. Um, she said, so cute. <laughs> Thank you. Um, you should do study tips. Hmm. Okay, so I'm still trying to figure out my best study tips because college is a little bit different. The way you study in college is actually Believe it or not, it's kind of different than studying in high school just a little bit because you have a lot more work handed to you, but also college is more basically Monday, Wednesday, Friday classes, and then you have Tuesday, Thursday classes. So you have some time in between to get your work done. So my number one study tip, or at least the one I have right now that I use, is highlighting, circling, using color, using a pen, whatever tool you like to use. I like to highlight because it stands out from the rest of the paper. That helps you remember, um, you know, when I'm trying to remember or recall information on a test, I just think about the highlighted section that I read or how like highlighted piece that um of my homework another tip that i have is actually it might seem like a lot but to me it really helps but i love writing on whiteboards or writing on white pe um, like copy paper i prefer to rewrite my notes or rewrite the big main keys of my notes onto like either a copy paper or a whiteboard for me that repetition of rewriting it i kind of have that muscle memory of what i remember what to i kind of have that muscle memory where i remember what i wrote on the whiteboard or on the piece of paper and it just kind of like clicks when i go on the test i'm like okay um what does dna stand for dioxide ribonucleic acid you know i remember that because i remember writing it down on a piece of paper Paper. Those are my two biggest study tips right now. When I like develop more study tips, I would gladly share it with you guys. Okay, so this one is from Alexis, Alexis Marie on Instagram. She sent me a bunch of questions. Um, I kind of answered a couple of them, but the one I'm looking at is like list some essentials about packing. 
or packing essentials. So my tips for that is to get those really, really big containers. I think I went to Home Depot or Lowe's, something like that, and get those really big containers that could fit a lot of things. I highly recommend that because not only would be able to take your stuff there, but you can also keep it in your dorm room as storage throughout the year. And then the next thing that I would recommend is rolling up. If you're putting your clothes into the container, rolling your clothes up. This helps because you're able to pack a lot more clothes into the container versus like having them folded on each other because you can tightly roll clothes and pack it like sardines into a can. So that's what I highly recommend um, doing. That's what I do when I pack, when I travel. Oh, one more thing. Okay, and then the last thing I recommend, I tried this tip out from Pinterest. Pinterest is my, oh, I love Pinterest. It's like my assistant, I guess, my personal assistant. I always, I'm always on Pinterest. But basically when you're packing, for me, I packed some of my clothes in the container, but really when I had jeans or like sweaters and like that, I actually took a trash bag. Basically, I took all my clothes into a trash bag. So basically, you have all your clothes on a hanger and you take the trash bag. So here's the hanger, here's the clothes this way, okay? You have the trash bag, the open section, and you pull it up over the clothes and you tie it with the elastic around the hanger. So you don't envision like your clothes inside a trash bag and then you're holding the hanger. Then when you go to your room, let's say you have a pole where you can hang your stuff on a, for your closet. Just hang it on the closet pole, unravel the trash bag, and boom. Your clothes are already hung on hangers and they're already like, organized. You don't have to worry about like taking them out of a container and then hanging them on the hanger. You may have not understood how I described it, but I'll show you how to do it in my next video. So Jalen asked, he asked, what are some of the worst and best things about college? He said don't any nothing about time management. Okay, so Okay, 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 I got you. The transition. I'm not going to lie to you. The transition from high school to college is kind of hard because you're leaving your friend group that you've had for the past four years plus that you've kind of tight with and you've grown with. And if you're not going to college with them, you're not really going to see them as much. So it's kind of hard to stay in contact. I know I'm not as close with the friends I were in college, in high school. We still like keep contact here and there, but we're not like besties or like close like we used to. And that was kind of hard. And it was also hard making new friends and kind of starting over. That was the hardest thing for me of starting over because like now I had to put this wall back up because I don't like being really open to people until I get a feel for who you are. And then once you do that, slowly my wall will come down. You'll see my goofy like personality and you know, outgoing personality. But if you don't know me like that, I have this wall where I'm just kind of like I'm kind of shy and reserved, kind, but I'm just really reserved and I'm not going to open up until, you know, we got past that barrier. So that was the biggest thing for college. I think the worst thing is just kind of like starting over. But going to my best thing about college is actually making new friends and meeting people from different states because you go to school people for the most part who live in the same area as you because you're zoned for that area. And also having the freedom to do what you want when you want for the most part with restrictions. You don't have to ask your parents if you're like, hey, your friend's going to go out to eat or get some ice cream late at night or go to the movie. You don't have to ask them for permission for permission you just go ask yourself for permission so I think that the freedom of like you know you're no longer being babied when you're a young adult about to become a full-fledged adult that's what they're preparing you for and so you're learning how to be independent and be on your own all right Carly gave me some good questions so I already answered about studying but she was like okay what clubs or activities do you participate in and relationships in college. I was part of the BSA, which is called the Black Student Association at my school. I was also part of Bruin Recruiters, which actually is just like an um, organization really at my school where we kind of help um, talk to incoming um, freshmen or incoming students in general who want to come to the school that we're going to. Mm, relationships with college, I'm not very uh, skill skilled in that area, let me just say. So I would just say I feel like relationships in college are a lot more mature uh, for the most part. Again, I'm not speaking from personal experience, just what I'm thinking. I've seen people who are like gone off to college and they're getting married while they're in college. So I think that's what I mean, like more mature, like it's taken a little bit more seriously, but also just relationships are not really taken as seriously, it's just kind of fun. So just based on personal preference, again, I'm not the best qualified to answer this question. So. Um, but yeah, just to have fun with it and if someone, some cutie wants to say hey to you, just take it, just take it slowly, step by step, and get a feel for the situation. If you don't like it, you can always say no, okay. There are plenty of fish in the sea. <laughs> okay, so someone anonymous, okay, I can't say, asked me, are guys cuter in college? Which is kind of funny because I just answered the whole relationship question. But, uh, for the most part, for the most part, I would say yes. Amanda Panda. This is from Snapchat. I didn't even realize it, but this is some of the rest. Some of these questions are from Snapchat, but her real name is Amanda. Hey girl, she said, "What's one piece of advice you would give to yourself as an incoming freshman in college?" All I would say is that um, to myself, 
if I can go back in time, it's like continue praying to God about to give you direction for the path that you're going to. And then also to enjoy it. Like my freshman year is over. I'm never going to be a freshman in college again. But um, so I wish I would have enjoyed it more. You know what? I did. But like not stress so much because you don't have to know exactly what you want to do at 18 years old, you know, 19 years old, whatever. Even if you're 20 years old as a freshman. Alyssa asked, she said, what did you like most about Belmont? So if you guys don't know, I go to Belmont University. I am, I am a fellow Bruin. Shout out to my Bruins who are watching. If you are a future Bruin, comment down a bear emoji because that is our mascot. <laughs> it sounds really cliche, but guys, I'm not, I'm serious. I'm totally serious when I say this, but look, the community. You're gonna hear this a whole lot and you're probably like, oh, community, but I really mean it. Like my favorite moments were when it was like nice and warm outside and, and like seeing like all, everyone was out on the lawn or out um, on the campus just chilling out and soaking up the sun, hanging out with friends, having fun, taking pictures, playing with their dogs, all that good stuff. And that was like my favorite part. Oh, that's the last question. We finish. <laughs> Alright you guys, thank you so much for spending your Sunday with me. I'm really excited to be able to kick off and launch this college boot camp series. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you guys are really excited if you are. Just let me know how you guys feel about this first episode of this series. I'm looking forward to making more for you guys. Next week will be the dorm room essentials, so stay tuned for that. I'm telling you everything that you'll need, like you absolutely, like for real need, like what I use and what I didn't use, so you won't be wasting money. I said if you guys are really excited about this series and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe down below with the red button and make sure to ring that little bell too so you get notified exactly when I upload new videos to the series and just in general so you can keep up with me. Make sure to also give it a thumbs up if you guys like this video. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Sunday and a great start to the new week and I will catch you guys back here next Sunday for another college bootcamp episode. Don't forget to stay classic, classic crew. Bye!